with the first lady of Star Trek, Majel Roddenberry, as well as her son, Eugene. Now tell me guys, did you ever think not only we'd be talking about Star Trek over 40 years later, but people would still be interested in coming to conventions? I'm not even 40 years old, so I never really <laughs> had that thought. How about you? Um, I, I didn't either. It's, mm -hmm. it's just, a, it's a total miracle. Mm -hmm. And back when we started it, of course we never anticipated this. Mm -hmm. Um, this is such a unique opportunity to connect with the fans. How has it been with you guys interacting with people coming up to you? Well, they've been we've been doing this for um, about 40 years, mm -hmm. so uh, it, it's uh, it's about the same. Mm -hmm. um, I think a Star Trek fan is a Star Trek fan or friend mm -hmm. uh, right from the beginning, and they stay loyal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, how is this a unique opportunity to expand the Roddenberry name to beyond Star Trek? Well, I, you know, I, I fell in love with the, uh, I, I got everything backwards from the beginning. <laughs> All the fans who watched Star Trek, they eventually tuned into the metaphor and really got the, the meaning, mm -hmm. the subtext behind the shows. Mm -hmm. I went out and talked to the fans, and they started telling me about all this stuff, and mm -hmm. I said, I don't know what you're talking about. I finally watched the shows and realized it. I then fell in love with the Roddenberry philosophy, the philosophy mm -hmm. of my father embedded into the series. And um, since then, everything I've been doing, I've been trying to represent that philosophy. Mm -hmm. Now, that doesn't mean I'm the most moral, ethical person in the world. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Take my word for but, it. <laughs> but I try to convey that message. Everything mm -hmm. I do, I want to uh, influence other people to just think differently. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Really, is what I want. Uh -huh. Look at the other side. Yeah. Now, what do you think of people who say, well, that's not what Gene would have done, and, and they sort of take on this stance about that? Do you mean Few of them ever say that. I've mm -hmm. never, uh, I've never heard anyone mm -hmm. say that. Yeah. Because it's, uh, I think we've all just uh, aped him mm -hmm. uh, from that from that point on. Mm -hmm. He was never wrong about anything. So. Right. Right. <laughs>